you can see that this is just another way of stating the words they've given you to explain where they've been going. Okay, so this person, this hiker, has started at X in our bottom left hand corner. They've walked this six kilometer distance on that bearing, and then this five kilometer distance on this bearing. And here at Z is where they end up. Okay, now we're reading the question carefully. How far is Y east of X? Now for every single one of these questions, and this is quite common, um, you're gonna have to add constructions onto here to form the angles or the lengths that they want you to find. So they've said, how far east is Y of X? So which direction is east again? It's to the right, okay? So here's X, so what I need to do is I need to say, okay, if I go to the right as you've just suggested, okay? Eventually, at some point, just going to the right, I will pass Y, right? So this is going to be a right angle. Why is it a right angle? What do those north, what do those vertical and horizontal lines represent? They're north and um, east, right? So they're always going to be perpendicular to each other. So that's a really important thing, having that right angle in there, okay? How far east is it? So what's the um, value I'm trying to find? What distance? Yeah, it's this long one that I've just drawn here, okay? So I haven't, I've got to give a label to this so I can work it out. What would you like me to call it? E. E. E for east, sure. Let's call this E kilometers, okay? I'm not using a capital because um, I'm gonna, my, I might have that on my compass reason elsewhere. So it's fine. All right, now what am I gonna do to find this length? What knowledge is important to you? Well, you have 70 degrees and 70 plus, that is 90, so then you just figure out it's 20. Okay, so this belongs to this right angle triangle. I need an angle inside the triangle, so I'm gonna use this 70 degrees, and nestled in here, just like me next to this cupboard, is that angle there. By the way, uh, this has a special name. When you add these two together, you get 90, so it's called, uh, starts with a C. Compliment. Compliment. The compliment, very good. So this is the compliment <laughs> of the angle we're looking at. That was what I was gonna say. Thank goodness there are more people in this class. No. All right, I've got the 20 degrees, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> okay, very good. So, yeah, that thing with the triangles. Trig is where I'm going. Here's my angle that I'm interested in. Here are the two sides that are related. So, which ratio? Cos. Cosine is adjacent on hypotenuse. Okay, is that alright? So, we can write. What is this? Part A, part one, or something, right? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, uh, AI. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a Roman number. So, okay. I can say cos 20 degrees is equal to adjacent on hypotenuse. Okay? I'm trying to find what E is by itself. So, what have I got to do? Multiply both by 6. So, that gives me this. Okay? And then this should give us a number, right? So, does someone want to provide 5.6? Actually, yeah. Great. Are we happy with that? Surrounding look good? Yeah. Now, um, George, I'm just going to borrow this camera for a I just want to um, give you a bit of a warning because some of you. There we go. Some of you need to be really careful with your calculators, particularly if um, you have a sibling who uses this and or if you just lend it to someone or something like that. Some of you may have your calculator tell you this. Okay, you've punched in six cos 20 just like the rest of us did, but instead of getting 5.6, you get this number, okay? Now, I'll come back to how that number came up in a minute. Does that look like a reasonable answer? Now, I think on the face of it, without thinking hard, it does look like a reasonable answer. It doesn't look like something ridiculous, like millions of kilometers or 0 0.0001 kilometers. So it seems like it's in the right ballpark, but it's completely wrong, okay? Now, how can we work out that it is so wrong? Well, just have a look at these distances here. See how this is 20 degrees, right? It's a pretty small angle, yeah? If you can imagine, sorry, just hold on to this for a if you can imagine these being quite close together, right? Uh, I mean, these sides are close together because the angle between them is small. Does that make sense? If they're close together, then the lengths have to be pretty close together as well, which indeed they are. Okay, 5.6 is correct. Okay. 
So then the question is, well, where, where did this number come from and why is it wrong? On your calculator, um, what I want you to do is press shift on the top left. Then on the top right, you know how there's that mode stuff for when you do stats and what have you, okay? If you press shift and then mode, you get a whole bunch of options. I'm just going to press it on this one. Okay. Now, a lot of those options you've never seen before and you will never have to use. But in particular, on the second row, on the second row, I think it says this. Does it say that? Is that what it says? Okay, right. sure. Yeah, that's right. Now, um, what these stand for are, DEG stands for, anyone know? Degrees. Degrees. And RAD stands for... Radical, oh. Radical dude. No, what it stands for is... Don't ever make me do that again. Um, what it stands for is radians. Now, radians are another way to measure angles. Just like I can measure distances in kilometers, I can also measure distances in miles or inches or whatever. So this is a different unit. So if you are in the wrong mode, you're not going 6 cos 20 degrees. By the way, this is the reason why I always write the degree symbol. Maybe you, you don't, you're like 6 cos 20, that's enough. And nobody got time to write degrees, right? The reason I do is because there's a whole other way to write angles. And 6 cos 20 radians is something completely different. It gives you this. Okay. So when you're doing your sense check, you have to be quite careful that you don't just look at it and say, oh, it's pretty close. Okay. Pay a little more attention. Okay. Now the reason why you've never looked at this is because in our course, you never have to worry about this. It appears in Tuna and it appears in extension and so on. This is why I said if you lend it, or if your sibling steals it, they may have um, they may have put it into this mode, even by accident. Okay, the way you will know is that at the top of your display, uh, the what you want is for that little tiny square that has that's coloured in. It has the letter D in it. Okay, that's what you want. If it's in the wrong mode, you'll see an R instead. But it's so small you can not notice it. Like you'll just keep on doing all your stuff and you won't realise. Okay. So please make sure your calculator is in the right mode and you'll get the right answer.